hey you guys it's your girl Otono honeybee and welcome back to my channel on today's video we're making philly cheesesteak lasagna with honey balsamic brussels sprouts and a side of garlic bread stay tuned all right you guys let's get started so what you're gonna need is beef shaved steak if you don't have the shaved steak available you can also get steakums but please be careful when cooking those because they do dry out um, you're gonna need green peppers mushrooms I got provolone slices instead of the shreds because that's what was on hand and available at the store white cheddar mozzarella evaporated milk you're also gonna need lasagna noodles heavy cream onions garlic and garlic bread of course Okay, first things first, we're gonna cut down all of our vegetables. I don't know if you guys have a preference of mushrooms that you guys use, but I prefer baby portobellas for these. They just, I don't know. You can also use the white ones. Really, you can use whatever one is available in your grocery store, and if you're balling on a budget like I am, you'll get whatever's cheapest. And <laughs> these were which was cheapest for me at Aldi, cause the girl loves Aldi. Actually, this whole meal came from Aldi to be honest with you. And as you can see here, I'm cutting down the green pepper. Please do not judge me on my knife skills. We're getting better as we go. But as long as I don't cut myself, I think that we're in the clear. And I'm adding that to that other bowl as well. And then we're gonna get these onions cut down as well. And I prefer purple onions with my Philly cheesesteaks. They do have like a more sweet kind of flavor to me. You can use the yellow onions, that's perfectly fine. So once we're done doing our vegetables, we're gonna get started cooking our meat. In a pan, you're gonna take some olive oil and let that cook a little bit and get warm and then add some garlic. And once that garlic starts to cook and become fragrant, ew, fragrant, look at me stuttering. Fragrant, we're gonna begin adding the meat into the pan. And then once we got that meat going on the pan, we are going to get to adding our seasonings. And of course, I'm going to use the basics, salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add my all-time favorite, the garlic and onion. And then I add a little bit of Greek seasoning and I also add some dry rub seasoning. Yes, I know it's dry rub, but listen, it tastes good and I like it. And it adds this little sweet heat to it. So once that meat is cooking down, I add a little stick of butter and just to get the meat a little more juicy and silky. Don't know where I learned that from. I wanna say that I learned that from MasterChef, but I could be lying, who knows. While that meat is cooking, doing my noodles, I add chicken bouillon to my noodles because I want my noodles to get that extra flavor. So we got that meat cooked through and now we're gonna take it off and let it vibe on the side. And then we're gonna get started on the vegetables. I love doing one pots and like I said before, it builds flavor. So in that same pot we cooked the meat, we're gonna begin to cook our vegetables by adding a little bit of olive oil and some butter and just toss those babies in. And we need to season our vegetables. Although there is some flavor left over in the pan from the meat, we still have to add some more seasoning to it. Um, I use the same seasoning that I used on the meat. I just don't use the Greek and the um, dry rub on this part. Um, I actually substitute that for Creole seasoning. It just gives it a little, I don't know. I just like Creole seasoning. I don't need a reason to use it. <laughs> um, but. This is completely up to you. Whatever seasonings that you like to use to season your vegetable, this is what you have free range to do whatever you like, honestly. And just make sure it tastes good and it's well seasoned. In that same pan, we're gonna start our roux. So we're gonna add butter and garlic into the pan and we're going to let that melt and then add a little bit of flour. We're going to get that flour with the lumps out, move that around a little bit and then get it to a little bit brown because this is gonna was what is essentially gonna thicken up our cheese sauce. And once we get that down, we're going to add some heavy cream to the pan. Add the white cheddar cheese, the provolone slices and evaporated milk. I add evaporated milk to my heavy cream because 
Sometimes the heavy cream can separate when it gets too hot and the evaporating milk kind of stops that and slows that process down from happening. And then I add the seasoning, of course, and then I also take a cup of noodle water. This is why I add seasoning to the noodle water with the bouillon cubes, the chicken bouillon, because sometimes the sauce is too thick and you kind of want to thin it out as you go. Now here's the fun part. So we're gonna start building the lasagna and we're going to take that cheese sauce and put some at the bottom of the pan, of course. You don't have to put a lot, just enough so the noodles don't stick and burn to the bottom of the pan. Get those noodles in there and then we're going to add some more sauce, some vegetables, some meat, And then we're gonna add our mozzarella shreds. And then we're gonna top with some noodles and just keep repeating that process over and over. Quick story time. So because I'm lazy and didn't wanna do dishes tonight, I decided to go get a foil pan. I grabbed this one, I'm like, oh, bet, this is gonna work perfectly. And come to find out, when I got home, it's a little too big. So now my lasagna is looking a little janky, but that's okay because we're gonna fix that and she's gonna look good and she's gonna taste good. Okay, so boom, we're gonna throw that lasagna in the oven and then we're gonna get started with this garlic bread. Like I said, I got this garlic bread from Aldi. And the cool thing about this is this was in the fresh bread section and it was already buttered and already had cheese on it already. You just had to throw it in the oven for like five minutes. But I decided to go in and add a little bit of mayonnaise on top. I learned this trick off of TikTok. I guess this is something that um, Disneyland does. They actually have put mayonnaise on the outside of their grilled cheeses. And I do that on my grilled cheese now. And I promise you, it takes it up a notch. I don't know what it is, but it's something about that mayonnaise. It just makes it crispy and more buttery. And it just tastes so good. So I recommend that y'all try that. Not just on like a garlic bread, but any kind of bread that you have to like cook in a pan or fry or anything or like bake. It's really good. And so after I add that mayonnaise, I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of Parmesan shreds because there wasn't enough cheese on there. They always skimpy on the cheese with these garlic breads. So I gotta add my own. And while that bread is in the oven, we're gonna start on our Brussels sprouts. We're gonna cut them in half and then we're gonna get them in the pan with some butter and some oil. Um, once I get them in there, I put them face down so I can kind of get like a sear on them just a little bit. And then I add some balsamic vinegar and some Mike's hot honey. And then of course seasoning, duh. And then let them cook down. I throw in a little bit of butter, let them cook down and let it reduce and get all of that in there. Fresh out the oven and look at her. Look at her. Just look at her. She's beautiful. And that bread, I told y'all that mayonnaise just, whew. And the sear on them Brussels, baby. Look at this. And there you have it, guys. A Philly cheesesteak lasagna with honey balsamic Brussels sprouts and garlic bread. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back in next week and see what we have on the menu. Bye, guys. See you later.